we just did it, but I don't understand it. So it's composed of simple squamous epithelium. It's what insulates your brain and nourishes it, the okay. connected, okay. What's the called connected again? tissue. That's this is the dura mater. And this is underneath, you see the arachnoid mater, and you can see the trabiculate. Remember we talked about the arachnoid... Oh, yes. <laughs> this is going on YouTube, you guys, so... So it's right here. Wait, it's right where? Where? Arachnoid trabiculate. Oh, okay. oh, on it. Okay. On the... The pia mater is, follows the contours of the brain, so you don't really see it. Okay, so now here you can see cranial nerve 1. And two, and this is the optic chiasma. This is the pituitary gland. This is cranial nerve five. It's the trigeminal nerve, so there's three stumps right there. Okay? This is cranial nerve six right here. Cranial nerve 11. Whoa, that's a good one. Uh huh. That's why I'm keeping this one. Cranial nerve 11 and cranial nerve 12 here and here. This is the um, central canal right in the middle of the spinal cord, oh, and you yeah. can see the H. Okay? okay? Now let's look at yours. Which one was, did you do? Uh, oh, thank you. Um, we did the one, this one, one and this right one. Here. And I think this is yours together. Yeah, this one. I kept mine together. See the part of the choroid plexus there? That's the blood vessels. Sorry, I know I'm in your face. That's <laughs> all right. Here's the penile body. The corpus callosum on top and the fornix on the bottom. Um, this is the thalamus, so this is the hypothalamus. Oh, okay. This is the pituitary, the pituitary gland would sit here. Yeah. And but this is the optic chiasma. This uh, should have, no it doesn't. Yeah, oh yeah, that's why you can see. Either. Yeah, none of the, your brains do. That's why I brought mine from um, Al Camino. And you can see why it still has it. Because it still has the dura mater. Oh, yeah, so if you yank this okay. off, mm -hmm. you lose all of this. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, now let's so look at your brain. Yours is nice, too. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So, uh, I'm just separating that so you can see. That's the lateral ventricle. Remember, ventricle is a space. Yeah. So don't worry about it for right now. This is the corpus callosum. This is the fornix. This is the penile body, mm -hmm. so that makes this part of the corpora quagemina, and you can see the superior caniculi and the inferior caniculi, or caniculus. Caniculi for plural. This is the fourth ventricle. This is the cere cerebellum, and this is the arbor vitae in the cerebellum. The third and the fourth ventricles are connected through the cerebral aqueduct. And the cerebral aqueduct is continuous so, yeah, with the central cavity, okay. central canal. Mm -hmm. You don't need to know Sylvius. You don't need to know Sylvius, okay. Cerebral aqueduct. Mm -hmm. okay. cerebral and then this right here is the thalamus, mm -hmm. this region here. In the very middle, you kind of see this region that's kind of been chewed up. That's the intermediate mass of the thalamus. And right below the thalamus is the hypothalamus. And you should be able to see the optic chiasma there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you had the pituitary, it would be right here, and it would be connected. Oh, look, there's one of your cranial nerves. It would be connected with the infundibulum to the hypothalamus. Now, for these kind of animals that walk on all fours, you have two bumps, the pons and the medulla. Mm -hmm. That's the only way you can tell them, by the The bumps. medulla oblongata. Mm -hmm. Oblongata. Mm -hmm. Um, Wait, so do we need to know the olfactory? You can just say cranial nerve one or olfactory. I allow you to either call it by their name or by the number, whichever is easiest for you. The name. 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 Sometimes the name's easier, just if you know the mnemonic. It's, it just depends. What's the mnemonic? Uh, I'll, when I get to the cranial nerves, I'll give okay. it to you guys. And so again, here you have it. You have the penile body, the optic chiasma. Yeah. The thalamus is here, so this is the hypothalamus. This is the infundibulum to the pituitary gland that's gone. One bump, two, pons, medulla. Fourth ventricle, cerebral aqueduct, central canal, spinal cord. Okay? I might have missed some stuff, but you can figure it out from how I did it, right? Well, I have a question. Um, yeah, you know, go ahead, it's fine. We'll just do it later. You're on camera. Because there's, there's so much, there's so many things. Is, is there anything we don't need? 
to, to know? I mean, there's, uh, some there's... of the nerves you don't need. To, for instance, you just need to know cranial nerve one. I don't care about the bulb. The track ends in the bulb. That's it. Okay. But it's cranial nerve one. Actually, most of this you can't. And the phallic cerebri, that's just the invagination of this um, dura mater. So there's the phallic cerebri. It just invaginates it. Okay. That's it. Okay. okay. So, okay. Wave goodbye. Don't make, don't make <laughs>